Welcome to the setup instructions for our high and low pressure alarms. This is the model HLPA, which monitors air pump and airline pressure. If the air pressure exceeds the normal range for a linear diaphragm pump, the red siren will sound its alarm, signifying that you have a complete or partial clog in your airline due to a pinched line or obstruction of the airline diffuser at the bottom of the septic tank. If, on the other hand, the air pressure drops below 1 psi, the yellow siren you see here will sound off and will signify that either your air pump is no longer functioning or that you have a break in the airline. This is the model HLPAW. It does the same as the model HLPA, but in addition to the siren alarm at the pump shown here, it also has a wireless siren alarm that will sound off in your home wherever you might plug it in within 300 feet of the air pump. The beauty of these alarms is that there is nothing to program or to maintain or no batteries to replace. So let's see how simple it is to set these alarms up. For the purposes of this instruction, we will show you the installation using the model HLPAW wireless alarm, as the setup of both is basically the same. The first step is to connect the 1 8 inch vinyl hose to your airline system. Most septic air pumps have a barbed air takeoff port. The high blow pumps have an air port at the base on the side. The blue diamond pumps have the port on the bottom of their pumps as shown here. If you don't have an air takeoff port on your particular air pump, no worries. We provide a one half inch bar PVC adapter with each alarm, and this is how to hook it up. See how simple? For the wireless siren, all you have to do is plug it in. There is no programming required. You will see that when you plug it in, it will blink the siren once to signify that it is armed and in standby. Now you just plug in the alarm unit with your air pump plugged in as well. By the way, the other gadget here is an overpressure safety valve that you can also buy on this website. We discussed this in another video. Now to show you how it all works, I have a valve that I can change the pressure with. At the moment I have it set so that the air pressure reads about 2 psi, which is within the range of normal working pressure for linear diaphragm air pumps. I'm adjusting the pressure down now, and as you can see, at right around 1 psi, both the outside and indoor alarms are sounding off. So as not to complicate things, you do not have an on and off and test switches. All you do is unplug your alarms until you have corrected the low air pressure problem. For this video, I will just turn the plug receptacle off to reset the alarm. Now as I increase the air pressure by shutting off the valve, the safe range of pressure is indicated in that neither the high or low pressure alarms have been set off. As I turn the pressure up to about 3 psi, the high pressure alarm will sound off as you see here. For this video, I will just turn the plug receptacle off to reset the alarm. When you actually receive your alarm for the first time, the simple test is to just plug it in without hooking up the vinyl tubing. Since there will be no air pressure, your alarm siren will activate just like this. I hope you have understood the setup instructions and have had all your questions answered. If not, give me a call at 225-715-5784 and I will be glad to help you with any problem you might have. See you next time.